Greetings, everyone. 안녕하세요. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be learning two words. 별로. And the first one we're going to start with is the most common. 별로 is one word. And this is an adverb, meaning that it's going to be used add to the verb. So it goes before the verb. So you would say 별로 verb, not verb something 별로. Keep that in mind. Adverbs go before the verb. They add to the verb. This is a negative adverb. That means whenever you use it, you're going to use it with a negative verb. For example, 별로 안 좋아해요. I haven't told you what it means, but I'm just showing you that it's only used with some sort of negative verb. In this case, 안 좋아해요. I do not like it. So what is 별로? 별로 means really or especially, but it's only used with negative verbs. So you can translate it as not really or not especially. So if you have 안 좋아해요, this would be like, I don't really like it. I don't especially like it. So it's for saying not really. I don't really like it. 별로 안 좋아해요. 별로 재미 없어요. Again, another negative verb. 재미 없다. To not be fun or entertaining. 별로. So not really very fun. It's not really very entertaining. 별로 재미 없어요. So someone asks your opinion about a movie. 별로 재미 없어요. It's not really that good. 별로 비싸지 않아요. 비싸다 is to be expensive. So 비싸지 않아요. It's not expensive. 별로 비싸지 않아요. It's not really expensive. There's one more thing about 별로. And that is, not only is it used with negative verbs, 별로 can also be used with a different verb, and that is just to be, 이다. You know, like, 입니다, 예요, 예요, like that. You can also use 별로 with this, so you can say 별로예요, for example. Literally, it is 별로. This is a way to say that something is not really, not really good. So, 별로예요. It's not really that good. It's not really good. It's not especially good. It's just so-so. 매, -so. 별로예요. It's not that great. That's what it implies. Okay, this is the main form we're going to be learning today. This form is different. This is 별 or 별로. This one is connected after a noun. So when do you use 별 and when do you use 별로? Let's take the word 날짜, which means a date. So you could make either 날짜 별 or 날짜 별로, but they have different uses. This 로, you may have seen it before if you're intermediate level, this 로 indicates that it's being used as an adverb. So anytime you're using this word, which I haven't told you what it means, anytime you're using this as an adverb, meaning it's being used before a verb to describe how that verb is doing something, then you're going to use 별로. Anytime when it's not being used as an adverb, you're going to use 별. So when would it not be used as an adverb? Well, anytime it's being used to, for example, describe a noun. Like if you wanted to say 날짜 별 something, some noun, not a verb, but some noun, then you would just use 별. So you can only use 별로 when it's being used as an adverb. This word actually comes from 한자. In fact, this 별 here has the same origin as the adverb 별로. But the usage is different. But this 별 comes from the hansa 별, which means separate or divide, like to separate something or to divide something. So this 별로 is literally just this plus this particle 으로, which means by or using this particle 으로, which makes something into an adverb. So divided by or separated by. That's what this word means. Literally, separated by. Now, it'll translate a few different ways to make it more natural. So these are some other ways you might translate it. Separated by or just by, like separated by the date or just by the date. Like if you're organizing it by the date. You can organize something depending on the date or according to the date. Or you can also organize something for each date. One of these might be more natural when you're translating it. There's another way you can also think about this form. I've done a live stream about this before as well, but e daraso. So this is another grammar form in Korean. That means depending on or according to. You can swap it for this in your head and it'll still make sense. So that's just another tip to help you translate it if you're ever getting stuck on the translation. 사진, a photo. 사진을 날짜 별로. So 날짜, a date. 별, separate, 
So separated by date or just by date. 정리하다 is to organize. So 정리했어요. So I organize the photos by date or I organize the photos depending on or according to their dates. Again, 별 means that you're doing something to each of them individually. You're not just doing the dates as one thing, but according to individual dates. So you're doing it one at a time for each of the nouns in the group. But if that's complicated, just remember it's for each or by or separated by or anything like that. Any way you want to think about it. 사진을 날짜 별로 정리했어요. So I organized the photos by date. 나라 별로. Nara is country. So, 별로. Separated by country. For each country. That sounds a little better for translating. 영어 발음. So, English pronunciation. 조금씩. A little bit. 달라요. A little bit different. So, English pronunciation is a little different depending on the country. Or, for each country. You're saying that for this country, 영어 발음이 조금씩 달라요. In this country, 영어 발음이 조금씩 달라요. In this country, in this country, like that. So whatever you're saying applies to each of these ones individually and not just as a whole. 나라별로 영어 발음이 조금씩 달라요. 그럼, well then, 제가 I 추천해 드릴게요. So I will recommend 장르 is genre. 장르 별로. For each of the different genres. You're doing this exact same thing that comes after. So, what am I going to do? 노래, a song. 몇 here is a few. 곡 is a song. This is what you use for counting songs. 추천해 드릴게요. So, I will recommend a few songs separated by genre. So, for one genre, let's take classical music. What are you going to do? You're going to recommend a few songs. Hip-hop, I'm going to recommend a few songs. Pop, you're going to recommend a few songs. Country music, you're going to recommend a few songs. That's what it means. You're doing the same thing to each of the items in that group. You're not simply recommending a few songs randomly out of every genre. It's for each of the genre. 그럼 제가 장르별로 노래를 몇곡 추천해 드릴게요. So I'll recommend a few songs for you from each genre. 저는, so I, 요리할 때, so when I cook, 재료 is an ingredient, 별로. So, for each ingredient, or by ingredients, or separated by ingredients, or depending on the ingredient, or according to the ingredients, any way you want to translate it, 다른, a different 칼, knife, 써요. So I use a different knife depending on the ingredients when I cook. 저는 요리할 때 재료별로 다른 칼을 써요. So, when I cook, I use a different knife depending on the ingredients. 저는 요리할 때 재료별로 다른 칼을 써요. So, I use a different knife depending on the ingredient when I cook. 장난감. 장난감 is a toy. So, 색깔. 색깔 is a color. 색깔 별로. By color. 모아놓다. So, kind of like organizing. So after gathering everything together, because I got everything together, 보기 좋다, literally, looks good. It looks nice. So it looks good or it looks nice when I organize all of my toys by their color. 장난감을 색깔별로 모아놓으니 보기 좋네요. So I organized my toys by color and it looks really nice. 나이별 정상 혈압 수치 나이 Well, 나이 is age. 정상 is normal. 혈압 is blood pressure. 수치 is a number or a figure. 아세요? Do you know? This is one word. 정상 혈압 수치. It's one compound noun. But now we add this. 나이별 by age. So it's not do you know something by age, but do you know, that's it, do you know this noun, the normal blood pressure number by age. So it's not being used as an adverb. You're not knowing something by age. You're simply knowing something. What is it that you know? Well, you know the normal blood pressure number by a person's age. So do you know the normal blood pressure number for each age? 나이별 정상 혈압 수치를 아세요? This is the kind of situation where you're going to see 별 used instead of 별로. Is when it's used before another noun to make a compound noun. Flo, you're welcome. Thank you.
Let me give you 10 dabs, Flo. Put on some music. Let's do a traditional dab. Hana, two, set, net, pasot, yosot, ilgo, yodo, ao, yo. This is all you need to know about Pyarlo, Pyarl, and Pyarlo. That's the lesson. Thanks for coming, and I will see you again next time. Krum, tamitoba.